Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. You're joining me on board good old Narrowboat Tilly, and today I've got a completely different type of video for you. Now, I've been sat here enjoying the beautiful sun, and I've been off out walking around Ellesmere and all the rest of it, and doing a little bit of filming and taking a few pictures, and it just really put me back in mind of a day that happened last year that was this exact same sort of day, really, a beautiful sunny day, at this exact same mooring spot on the outskirts of Ellesmere and I thought you know what I'm just gonna do an actual little book reading sort of video but don't worry I'm not just gonna stand here and make you look at this while I read instead I thought we'll go up onto the back of Tilly and I'll literally just pan the camera around so you can enjoy exactly the sort of scenery from the exact spot that I'm talking about as I'm just gonna read about a two or three minute clip from the Narrowboat Diaries which is the last boat book that I've published but but really this isn't this isn't really an advert or anything it's just sharing a memory and it's just a memory that I happen to have written about and published in a book at the start of this year so this is a day that happened last year but without further ado I think we'll stop looking at this and start looking at some scenery and then get into it here we go then this is a little reading from the narrowboat diaries on the topic of trying to meet up with people at this exact spot on an absolutely beautiful day like this the following week I enjoyed one of the random days that I often have as a result of trying to meet up with friends or family on board. Depending on where Tilly is it can be a real challenge, especially if those people are unfamiliar with some of the almost non-existent villages and landmarks that seem so obvious when setting out from the canal itself. In order to make things simpler to meet my dad and little sister, I enjoyed a pleasant early trip from Tetchell to Ellesmere. That was boat trip number one, which ended with Tilly moored on the outskirts of the basin and services that the town is handily home to. After walking to a nearby shop and getting a few supplies, I spent the day on board Tilly until Sarah turned up for a while. We then embarked on the second, even shorter boat trip of the day. We steered Tilly all the way around an entire corner. We stopped briefly to top up some water bottles at the service point before turning around and mooring up back where we had set off from but facing the opposite way. This was so that once my dad and sister arrived in the evening we could just set out on a short trip without having to worry about heading past the boats that would have moored up on the busy stretch of canal around the basin as the day wore on. This was of great importance as my sister, being only two years old, had an attention span that wouldn't tolerate too much dilly-dallying. As the day continued to be very warm, just as the morning had been, I was eager for the final trip of the day. When the good weather starts, it is vital to enjoy it while it lasts. So in the evening, once I had my two additional shipmates, we set off. The sun, scenery and sheep all providing some welcome distractions and entertainment for my sister. There was one worrying moment when a sheep managed to get a feed bucket stuck on its head, then walk off the edge of the steep field and fall into the canal. As we approached this scene, I was more than glad to see that just in the nick of time, the sheep freed its head and ran back up the bank. A distressed little sister was avoided. What followed was a beautiful evening trip. When the previously mentioned attention span started to fade, I used my usual trick of finding a wide patch of canal and turned tiny Tilly around two miles away from the next turning point. Back up the canal we went to finally, for the third time of the day, more Tilly at Ellesmere. As if to demonstrate just how sweet a two-year-old can be, after mooring, my sister picked some small flowers from the towpath and placed them on the side of the boat, looking at me and saying, They are for your best friend, Tilly! A lovely moment bringing another great day afloat to an end. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that little quick reminiscence from here at Ellesmere on this beautiful bit of canal. Feel free to check out my other videos for loads more boat life and things like this. Feel free as well to check out my short boat life Kindle books if it has wet your appetite. Like I say, this was from the Narrowboat Diaries, but all of my boat books have that same theme of just, well, beautiful times on the canal written in words. So, until the next time, check the links in the description. Feel free to add me on Facebook 
Facebook and Twitter if you want to see loads of pictures of this sort of boaty scenery. But just have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep it boat worthy. And of course, farewell. <laughs>